Hi guys, welcome to Simple Programming. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make use of request body advice and response body advice. These are two interfaces that can be used to perform a variety of activities away from the controllers and service layers. In this example, I'm going to show you how to implement duplicate check along with logging an incoming request before going into an interceptor controller layer. The request body advice provides you three implementation methods. The first method is supports. The second method is handle empty body. The third method is before body read. And the fourth method is after body read. The supports method is going to be the initial layer above your implementation. It is going to validate or verify whether the request body matches the class that you want to check or the parameter, the method parameter that you want to verify matches. So in this case, I'm going to use the request body advice only for post mapping. When someone sends me a post mapping request, I want to validate whether that request has been already available in my database or not. If it is already available, then I'm going to return a duplicate error to the end user. And every request is going to get inserted into the database as a logging mechanism. So here's the implementation of that. So it's going to be a straightforward implementation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call another service that is going to capture the incoming request. Let's quickly take a look at the service. So I have a service layer here and this service layer is going to interact with the repository and it's going to try to insert the record. If the record does not get inserted and if the repository throws an error, right, then this will return back saying that, uh, you know, the record is already present. So here's my repository. I will return a custom query here and this query is going to return a Boolean. If it is going to be false, then it's going to be duplicate student record exception. So this is how the implementation works. But the key here is how to make use of the request body advice. The request body advice has to be annotated with controller advice. It's going to be REST controller advice because we are going to use REST services. And here, this is the implementation of how to use the request body advice. You can even use the implementations to check even before the body is read to check if the you know if the request parameters or if the request headers are valid or not or in case if someone sends you an empty body you want to validate and throw an error so all these things you can do even before the request actually hits your filter interceptor or your controller so it is a, it's a very important and it will be very handy when you use it for development similarly we have a response body handler let me open up this response body. So this response body advice again is something that you can make use of before the re response goes out of your API or your service. That is after returning from the controller. So this is one place where you can try to make use of it. And if you want to add extra parameters to your request or if you want to do some other checks here, you can definitely do it outside your controller services. So request body advice and response body advice are two important things that you can really make use of when working in API projects. Let's try to run this project and let's try to examine the request and response. All right, the server is up. Let me try to fire a request. Okay, so you could see here, I kept a debug point so that you'll be able to understand it. So it has hit the request body handler, which is our request body advice. So it came to after body read, it went inside the request capture, it has captured the record and is now returning the body. Now, where do you think this request will go? It will go to the controller. See here, it came to the controller. So your request body advice acts on the request before it actually hits the controller or before it actually hits the interceptor itself. So it's, it's very handy really. So let me click on resume. And now it has gone to the response body. You could see here after the response left the controller, it has actually gone to the response body advice. Now here you can in fact add your own implementations. And if you want to add any parameters to the outgoing response, or if you want to do any other stuff with, re with respect to the response, you can do it here. Okay, the request has gone and the response has been obtained. So now let's try to send this again. 
you could see here invalid request data conflict record already present so this is a validation that is performed in the request body advice even before the interceptor controller and the validators so now do you see how handy this request body advice is i hope this video was helpful please subscribe for more such videos thank you